Hello Minasan, Hikiya Memorikotes, and welcome to another indie game. This is station uh, S of F trying to contact the <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't get to read that. Where are <laughs> Why do why do you make your game start like this? Ophthalmologist, the motive for the request is that one of our crew members is present with a swollen eye after being exposed to a soil sample. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> mm -hmm. What else? The doctors on board believe it's likely an allergic reaction that resulted in the eye accumulating liquid. Okay. But the eye has grown so much the patient will need surgery. Uh, that's that's kind of gross. Please send someone fast. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Infestation. Okay, so uh, I, I finally get to talk, right? Uh, so hello guys, I came with this and welcome to another indie game. This one's called Infestation, right? And it's by the developer Trust Logan and it's another game for the Game Boy Jam 11, right? Uh, so I already can tell that uh, like uh, one suggestion for this game it's uh and this game is made in unity right uh maybe don't start your game uh in full screen right into the cutscene right uh well it, it's it's a problem for me because it makes it harder to record it properly you guys missed a little bit of the introductory cutscene it's a space station or something uh then again it, it's better if you begin in this screen like infestation press any button like Start the game here, and when you press the button, you run the cutscene, right? Uh, I think running the cutscene first is something that happened a lot in, like, old PC games. And I'm talking, like, 90s PC games, right? Like, point-and-click games, those old Indiana Jones games, like... They, they begin with a cutscene, and then you get to play, right? But I think, like... When you start a game, maybe you want to move into the, like the resolution, the sound before engaging with the game. So that just like main menu first, then when you begin the game, you ask the player if he wants to skip the cutscene or not, right? I think that's that's like the proper way to do it so everyone can be happy. It's just a suggestion again. Uh, especially if you're going to begin your game in full screen, right? Because you, you double click the game to open it. Uh, it goes right into full screen with the, like, by the moment the full screen kicks in, it the, the cutscene is already uh, playing. And uh, to, to make matters worse in this case, uh, the text is too fast. Yeah, I got distracted with the hello guys and everything, but the text was really too fast. You, you, you could barely read the, the beginning of the game, right? And I think for a game like this, the, the lore is going to be very important. I don't know. So yeah, those are the, my, my suggestions to begin with, right? So let's press any button. I don't have the any button, so I'm just going to click spacebar. Spacebar, no, C, okay, spacebar, spacebar is not any button, right? Okay, uh... It's this task? Force? Uh, A1029, I think that's what it says, right? I have... How? On shot, heal, flee, what? How did you play this game? I didn't got any... Let, let me read the itch.io page real quick. Man. Uh, Space Station puts a distress call after things go awry with a seemingly innocent infection. In this Game Boy Jam 11 Space Station Dungeon Crawler, as dispatch officer, uh, as a dispatch officer, fight your way through the station, find the keys to open the bridge, and purge the source of the infestation. Arrow keys to move, C and Q for the... C and Q for the A button in case you are QWERTY or ASSERTY, you start with two healing serums in case you run low on health, but more can be found as your journey to the station. This project was made for Game Boy Jam 11 by Translogan, One True Dave, and CC Credina, right? Uh, okay, but my game... Like, looking at the screenshots here, looks like my game is zoomed in. Which is weird, right? 
Okay, I, I like the dungeon crawling. You have your map. Oh, it's something in here. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, something's wrong. Right? Y you can see it, guys. Something's... So I'm gonna guess this one's flea. Okay, I get to flee. Run, run. Oh my god. Oh my god, that guy is having problems. Okay, uh, obviously I cannot play it like this. Uh, I'm gonna close the game. And I'm gonna launch it again. Maybe something went wrong, right? Okay, it's made with Unity. I can see the space station just fine. Because I feel this text is not even like centered <laughs> into the into the frame. I don't think that's supposed to be, right? That's supposed to happen. Okay, uh, now, now we got no it it it, it puts like this. Uh, that's kind of weird. And then again, why does this game has no options? Every game should, like, even Game Boy games should have options. Like, you're making it in Unity for God's sake. Give me a resolution. Uh, let me see if the itch.io page has some... Um, man, this is gonna be a mess of a playthrough. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Nope, it doesn't say anything about controls. So, the things you cannot see, it's uh, HP, light shot, CH shot, like Eon shot, we can see, heal and flee, right? Um, yeah. I, I don't really know what, what happened, like, I'm just running the game out of the... I mean, I can try to play it like this, but it's gonna be, it's gonna make for a terrible experience, right? Because you can see, like, this is overlapping here, right? It, that's not supposed to happen. Um, uh, let me see if I can find a way to open up options menu, maybe. Nope, probably not. Uh, okay, <laughs> what do I do? I already started recording this. Let's just try to progress through the game, right? So I'm just gonna flee all the battles, obviously, because I, I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh. The music, the music, it's good. The music, it's good. If, if the map is displaying properly, I don't think it, it's it's displaying properly. Failed escape. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna shoot you. An infested uh, crew, one damage. Uh, the game got stuck. The game's stuck. <laughs> it's it's not moving anymore. It I, I cannot do anything. Uh, I'm gonna have to close the game. Um, it is weird. It, uh, I'm checking on Nietzsche right now. It does not appear to have uh, mm, like update. There's no update for the game just yet. Uh.
Like I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to run the 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 web version, the HTML5 version. Maybe that's gonna help. Uh, I was running the the Windows zip version. So mm, let me see. Let me see. Sorry about this, but this is the things you have to deal in this channel. We test the games as they come out of the oven. Well, this game, it's it's quite like, it's been out for a week, right? But it, it's it's a game jam game. Game jam games have problems, right? Um, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I think, I think this is it, right? I think this is it. Uh, let me just, yeah, this, I think this is gonna show properly. Okay, yeah, I, I think this is good. This is good. Yeah. Okay. Now, now we can play the game, right? Okay. Now we can play the game. We can have fun. It's it's good. Uh, this is a station S zero nine F trying to contact the base firm. Let, let me let, let, let's just play, right? I'm gonna skip the cutscene. I'm gonna press any button. Okay. Now, now, now it's showing properly. Okay. So if you guys want to play this game, try the the web. Uh, GL version. You know, the, uh, it, it's it <laughs> the download version. It's not working properly by any means. Uh, okay, so we have 16 HP. We have light shot. We have CH shot, whatever that is. Ion shot, heal, and flee. And we have some text in here that I couldn't read previously. That's nice. Uh, I think the minimap is now showing properly. Uh, move forward, hide mine locked away, find three more keys, then return here. Can move there. Can move there, okay. Found a chest plus two HP serum. Oh yeah, now I can appreciate the beauty of this game. So I'm guessing I have three different shots, but I don't get descriptions of what they do, right? So, and I'm guessing they each do different things, so maybe... Infested crew appears, attack infested crew to damage, infested crew re regenerate, they gain HP. Five damage? Okay, he's dead. I'm gonna have to heal. Uh, can I just... Man, healing is... is it's not worth it whatsoever. So, is this like... Like, RNG? Like... It would be nice, just a suggestion, it would be nice to be able to see on the minimap which side you're facing. I know it tells you turn to face west, turn to face south, turn to face east, whatever, right? But it would be nice if you already have a visual representation of the player in, in, in the area. It would be nice to... Especially for people like me that don't understand which side is west and <laughs> which side is east. <laughs> I always have that problem. Uh, Whoop. Okay, let's just go this way. So I don't even know what my my goal in this game is. I think the itch page mentioned something, right? Uh, it says, find your way through the station, find the keys to open the bridge and purge the source of the infestation. Okay, so I need keys. I need keys. So, yeah, are the keys in any specific place? Yeah, I don't think fighting it's the wise thing to do in here. Uh, found the bridge key, two keys to go. Okay, so 
The keys are in chest. Okay, in a chest. I see I see the the developers of this game took the space theme uh, a little more literal. Like literal. Oh, there's something in here. Uh okay, I found an HP serum. Really nice soundtrack. Found a chest with serum. Yeah, I took about 15 damage with that thing. Use it serum to gain HP. Okay, that's good. It, it's nice that the, the, the serum get, gets like use automatically. Whoa. One key to go. Okay, let's go, let's go. Hmm, which way? Let's go this way. What? Wrong way. I already went through here. Check this place. Uh, 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 oh no, oh, oh, oh no. Uh, I'm kinda low on HP. Okay, I got, I got some HP. Oh, thank god that thing didn't attack me. Oh, there's a chest in here. Please let it be. Okay, it's it's just HP. HP is nice. But I really wish I could find a key right now. Ooh. So someone had a, like a night infection. Okay, more HP. Oh, there's something else in here. More HP, okay. It's just like each each chest gives you like two HP. But those things attack you for like four and five. Gotta, gotta say for like a Game Boy pixelated game, uh, like letting aside the, the problems I had at the beginning of the video, ignore that, like, very nice game, it's actually pretty intense. I know I'm just like running away. <sighs> Another HP chest. But hey, let's be real, what, what, what would you do if you were in this situation? Like, well, just stop sh starting shooting people, like, no, you're gonna run away. I'm supposed to be a doctor, right? Not a fighter. Oh god, uh, I'm, I'm pretty close to dying. And I don't even know where to go now. This place is huge. Who makes the space station this complex? I'm dead. Ooh, barely not dead.
I'm dead. Whew. Not dead yet. Ah, I got stuck again. I need to be more careful with the way I map this thing. I'm just gonna die. Man, how am I so lucky? My luck is gonna run out eventually. Oh, wait. Ooh, double chest. Okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Whew. That was, that was clutch. Okay, I can see, I don't know if you guys can see, I'm just gonna explain it. Like, the, the places that are walls are completely closed in here. But the places you can go, they are like a little bit blurred. Uh, so this, this is completely closed. Am I just going in circles? I think I'm going in circles. Yeah, I think I am going in circles. God damn it. This place is confusing. Like, maybe if I stopped and tried to... I'm dead. Game over. Uh, infested eye attacks, you should come to your injuries. Game over. Okay, and it seems when it's game over, it gets stuck. I think this is what happened last time when the, the game got stuck, right? Can I, like, press R to begin? No. And I have to close and open the game again. Okay. Okay, you can see the space station that you missed at the beginning. Okay, um... Arrow keys to move, A key is C or Q, pierce the infestation. Okay. So I wonder if this is just the same map or it's randomly generated, I wonder. Um, well, it's a rock light game, right? So, um, so I have to come back here. Should I map my movement? Or I just like wing it. I'm gonna wing it. Let's go. It's gonna cover all, all the vertical area I can. Sometimes they waste time. Regenerating life, which is good. Okay. I think it's it's the same map because uh, this this area is familiar to me. Uh, like I don't think fighting is worth in this game because I don't think you can get rid of the of the infested right. Or you can. If you can, maybe I'm wrong and that it's actually a good idea to... I got two keys. Nice, nice, nice. I think I'm doing better than last time. It's probably because I'm familiar with the place now. Oh, that, that took a lot of my HP.
one key to go again. Okay, I'm, I'm exactly on the same situation as last time. Wait. I think this connects to a, a place I already been. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Already full health. It would be nice if you get serums, you like can save them for later. So you don't get killed. Found bridge key, return to start. Okay, but where the hell what the hell is the start? Okay, can I heal myself? Where is the start? Damn it! Oh no, this is gonna get tense. Uh should be this way. No, this is not the way. What the hell is a start, mate? I told you guys I should have mapped my my movement. I mean, that thing almost killed me. Should be around here, right? At the start. This is the start, right? It's not? Oh god. Yeah, I'm pretty much dead. I'm dead. Okay, no, I'm not dead.
Okay, I healed myself somehow, so that's good. Okay, yeah, if I press if I press C when nothing's happening, I heal myself. That's it's good to know. What will be better to know it's where the hell is the It's the beginning. I swear to god it was it was around here. I'm going the same way, okay. I remember these white things being close to the beginning. Am I am I wrong? What is that? Unlocking? Okay, this is the beginning. Okay, that's the boss. Wait, but I... happening okay uh, correct me if I'm wrong is the final battle not triggering properly because I, I, I'm gonna get mad if that's the case please please don't tell me the final battle is not triggering It says, move forward, unlocking, bridge, door, source detected. No game, don't do this to me. Am I missing something? Let me check the, the YouTube page. Uh, find your way through the station, find the keys to open the bridge, and push the source of the infestation. No, yeah, I think... I think It's one of the things, or this boss is not working properly, which it's gonna make me very mad, I'm already mad right now. Or, even worse, the game is not working properly. I think that the final boss is not working. Oh god, no, I hate this. I'm dead. Okay, yeah, uh... Look, two, one of two things happened right there. One, uh, the final boss is not working properly. Or number two, I didn't do something but I didn't do it because it was not properly conveyed to the player and both of those things are big problems. Now, I'm willing to... Um, again, this is a, a jam game, right? A Game Boy jam game. Jam games have limited time to be worked on, uh, 
have limitations. I understand that. I'm not gonna judge this game as if I was... It's a free indie game. I'm not paying anything, right? I'm not gonna judge this game as if it was a $60 game or anything like that. It's... it's that That's mental to do. That being said, I found a lot of bugs with this game. Uh... Like, by, by, for example, this is going... This is not a bug, right? But this is going outside of the boundaries of the bugs. Uh, my experience with the download version, it's like horrible. That's unplayable. That's plain unplayable. Uh, the WebGL version work, works just fine. And it's such a shame because this game looks beautiful. Like, not only uh, the pixel art, it's, it's nailed perfectly. Uh, it actually gives you the feeling of being in space or in a space station, right? Uh, the music, the enemies, the... Everything, it's, I would say, perfectly done for a Game Boy experience, right? Uh, I was really enjoying myself playing this game. Uh, I think the battle system is not that fun. And, and I just, playing out, just decided to flee every time. Because it's more fun just to escape the things uh, than trying to fight them. I, in my opinion, it's it's more, more fun that you have to devise a way to evade them or anything like, or something like that. Uh, Enemy design, it's it's nice. The, uh, I enjoy the music. It's not repetitive whatsoever. It's like dun, 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 with the fights and the normal music. It's nice. Uh, like ignoring the problems I had at the beginning, I was really enjoying the game until I arrived to the final boss. And then again, I don't know what happened. I don't know if I had to find something else to defeat the boss, and that's why it wasn't triggering. I don't know if I missed something else. But then again, the game doesn't tell you anything. Uh, it, it barely tells you, like, you move like this and you attack like this, which are all the controls you need to play the game, right? That's okay. But the game doesn't tell you your motivation, like, oh yeah, you have to cure people, right? But, uh, like, a little bit of lore would be nice, and then again, I think that's something that's prone to happen with this game jam, like, Game Boy Jam games, right? Uh, they don't have a lot of lore, and that, it's not necessarily, but this game looks too good not to have lore. That's my that's that's the problem with the game. It looks too good for not having a uh, like I really commend you guys to go and check the itch your page for the game. Uh you can see like an amazing gif of a of like a spaceman with with a, a knife popping out of the of the helmet and it says infestation on the, it. It looks really good like it's visually impressive. Like I I'm, I'm I'm totally in love with how this game looks. Uh but it it like, obviously, I, I'm not gonna judge the game harshly, right? Because, again, Game Boy Jam game and anything, everything like that. Uh, but it's coming short in a lot of aspects, which ultimately, like, damage my enjoyment of the game. So, as much as I would like to give this game 5 stars, I'm gonna have to give it uh, 3 stars because uh, I couldn't finish the game. And a game you cannot finish, it's not a good game. Sadly, uh, and yeah, it can be a game jam game. It can be a game done by one person or two or three, whatever, right? Uh, but I think making sure your game is it's like okay, I'm gonna ignore uh, the problems with the download version. I'm gonna ignore other stuff like this text. It's it's not really relevant for me, right? It doesn't break my experience this text whatsoever. But not being able to finish the game, that's a no-no for me, uh, regardless of what kind of game it is. Uh, a game should be finished, like, you, you, you should be able to finish the game, right? Uh, doesn't matter what kind of game it is, so that, that's gonna take one star. And I'm gonna take another star because... It's just, it's just lacking in some aspects that I think are important. Like, I have played a few Game Boy uh, Jam games before, right, in this channel. Like, I think the last three or four games I played are of this same Game Jam. And then again, none of the games really have lore, which is totally fine with me. Uh, it's just this game, uh, compared to the other games, this game looks really, really good, and I wish it had some lore to go with it. Uh, I'm <coughs> sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I, 
I just like the art so much. I just like the music so much. And I just like the gameplay so much. I, I, I shouldn't do it, but I'm gonna give this game four stars. Because I, th I think it deserves, like, regardless of the mistakes I found in the game and that it's broken and it's, it's a game-breaking problem, I'm gonna give it four stars because I do believe that the problems with this game are because it's a game jam game and people didn't have enough time to properly game test the game. That happens a lot. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna give the developers the, the benefit of the doubt and I'm gonna give this game four stars. Not five stars because game breaking bugs are no, no, doesn't matter what happens to you. You should not let your game break. But I think the other aspects of the game kind of make up for the problem. So I'm gonna give it a good rating. Uh, and yeah, if you guys want to try the game, maybe I did something wrong. I don't know. Maybe this game can be finished, right? I cannot be sure, but I don't have time to play test this game for three hours. So uh, if you guys want to try the game, the link will be down in the description with all the games I have played so far. Please give it a go. It's a fun game. Even if it cannot be finished, it's a nice experience. Um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you, developer, for making the game. And I will see you guys in the next indie game stream or whatever I decide to do. See you later.